Hey guys, it's me Gadget Guy 2350. I was requested to do a video for Quick Call 2 signaling. So first of all, you are going to need a radio that will transmit Quick Call 2. Not all radios work, but the Kenwood 862HG works perfectly for this. So to get started, obviously this is a mobile radio, so it has to go in a car. So that's why I have a um, power supply for it. So first you're going to need a radio, you're going to need your computer, your software, and your programming cable, if I can properly get it out of here without destroying it, which is, you're going to need your cable, which is an RJ45. Um, mine is a, a USB, it's a serial USB by, uh, by Sundeli. I've recommended them before, they are absolutely great cables, you do not need rib boxes for them. Um, so what you're going to do is that you're going to power on your radio, you're going to plug in your programming cable, um, then you're going to go to file, if, it, if this is the first time you're using it, you're going to go to setup, communication port, and you're going to set as COM1, COM1 or COM9, but I have two programming cables installed, one from HT1000, so what I'm going to do, since I'm using Windows XP, so I'm going to go to my computer, I'm going to go to system info, I'm going to go to hardware, device manager, and then I'm going to click on uh, ports and com. So my uh, uh, cable for my mobile radio is com9, but my HT1000 is com1. So I'm going to go back to my software, and I'm going to select com9 from the list, and I'm going to hit, hit enter or OK. So now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to do, I'm going to read the radio, I'm reading it, I'll hit read read code plug. The radio will say it's in programming mode. It says reading complete. The radio is rebooted. So these are most of my frequencies. I have one receive only channel. But okay, so hey, so you're wanting to do quick call, right? So what we're going to do is that we're going to go to uh, edit. We're going to go to two tone. Then this is your quick call two. What you're going to want, want to do is that the alert transpond auto reset group call and decoder format can can all stay stay whatever they are but basically the decoder format you do want to have is A and B but to make your uh, uh, unit actually emit tones you're going to want to enter a frequency number not a transmit or receive frequency but a hertz tone so for me the tone C does not matter though the tone C does not do anything but tone A and B you want to have so tone A is 457.9 and tone B is 892.5. So those are the two hertz tones that are going to be sent over the air when you transmit to activate your radio. So, but first, how are you going to send those tones? What you're going to do is that you're going to hit edit, key assignment, and what this does, that this will tell you how to program each one of these buttons on the unit. So for me, let's say, um, what is it? So our open circle, not our clo not this one, but this one, our open circle right here is programmed to be to send our tones, which what you do is that it was different. You would just click like so, and you'd click two-tone encode. Then you click close, then you'd program it. So I get a program, write data to radio, then hit write. Then obviously that will write the code plug or the block of info. And I'll say writing complete, and then the radio will reboot. So now you're you're like, hey, uh, how do I get my H2000 or whatever to uh, read it? Well, it's similar, but it, each radio is different in the way it's programmed. So let me open up my DOS box emulator here. Um, so I'm using DOS box right now. So I have my H2000 on. Obviously, you're going to connect your programming cable, turn your radio on and connect it to the serial port in the back of the computer. Um, so obviously we're in the software. What we're going to do is that we're going to hit F3 and then F2 to read the radio. So this will read all the data off so it can program. So, so it's reading the code plug now. So, so once, once you've read the radio successfully, hopefully, make sure you also have a good battery because if you have, have a bad battery, bad things can happen. So basically we're going to go back, we're going to hit F4, change view code plug, then we're going to do F3, and then we are going to do F7. 
and then we're going to do F2. So this is, so this is my tone A and my tone B. So my tone A is 457.9, whatever, A92.5, whatever it may be. Tone C and tone D do not matter. That is for like if you're using two um, departments and you need a pager for both departments or whatever, etc. It depends. But basically, this is my tone A, this is my tone B. Make sure they match. This radio, make sure they match. So, but what you're going to have to do is that you're also going to have to go to... Uh, that you're going to have to go to F4 for your channel config. And what you're going to have to do is that for your receive squelch, you're going to have to do TPL or quick call 2. Because if not, it will not activate as a pager. It will only go go through, but it will not beep at you or activate. So you need to set your receive squelch or receive type as TPL quick call 2. Individual or group call does not matter, but that's that's really it. But then you can program your radio like so. So I do F3, then I do F8 to program, F8 again, and then um, that would chain or write my code plug or program it. So then I do not have an antenna right now on this, unfortunately. But I have one laying around. I just got to find it real quick. I believe it's over here somewhere. Where is that dumb antenna? I had a huge whip. I had a huge whip antenna somewhere around here, but I forgot where it went. It was a UHF whip, but I don't have it. But um, other than than that, you should be pretty much good to go for your quick call signaling. You know what? I will find the antenna and I will make a part two. Uh, uh, see you in the next one, guys.